The Karai, it's Kira. funny because a lot of people say, but why Karai? But it's a combination between my first name and my last name. Oh, That's where it comes, Karai. Karai. Karai, it's the Kirsten. Yes, it's Karai. Karai. Well, my friend Kenti. <laughs> <laughs> I am So, Anna, you're here with Karai Creative Style. Hi. How are you doing? Hello. Are you excited? I am. I'm just feeling so honored to be in your presence. Oh, thank you. <laughs> There's some blushing going on. <laughs> But um, no, you know, you're one of my favorite people. Um, just because uh, we're pushers, we're getters, we're doers. Yeah. We talk us too, but we're doers. We are. Yeah, but you we're know. Boss ladies. We're boss ladies. But not in a, how should I say that? In a, in a bad way, yeah. but in an empowering kind of way. Yeah. So that is a positive fact about it. And um, I'm really, really happy to be, to have been working with Watch since you guys launched last year. Yeah. And you definitely took it to another level where pageantry is concerned. And I think you would have gotten that same feedback from everyone that attended the shows in terms of structure and giving it a special twist. And, you know, bringing back pageantry to a level where, um, by lack of better words, we were just not there. And when you look at the region and you see the other islands stepping up and you see the representation of those young ladies that go away, and uh, most of them always come back with a crown or with a, you know, with a, with a, with a win. Um, you kind of like, I was glad to see that there was a breath of fresh air. I'm pretty sure that the carnival lovers and the pageantry lovers kind of into this. Yes, and I think that what we've done, thank God um, for that, is we have uh, revitalized the love of pageantry as far. I see a lot of enthusiasm again for pageantry. And of course, you know, we are already rolled into our families. Um, the girls are, have been introduced to their introduction uh, coordinator. Yes. They are getting ready to begin with the Toastmasters. I'm excited about that. The SHTA has signed on with us again. Yes. So they have provided us with the topic that the girls are going to be writing, their uh, cultural speech. And awesome. the winner of you know, the teen and the senior uh, pageant uh, with the best speech will then again win a pineapple award. That wow, that's that, that, so that's different yes, already. Yes, that's like yes, a great it was, it was milestone. Received very well last year, and I'm, I'm elated by the fact that the SHT has again decided to go forward with us on that. That is great. Yeah. And uh, but have you seen also in terms of um, candidates um, signing up? I mean, the, I don't want to give out too much information because yeah, no, I know you have not no, done no, it officially. Absolutely. But the the caliber of delegates that have signed up, we see a shift. We see a shift in those especially in our senior category to be much more enthused to take part and i strongly believe that it is the decision of the usm mm -hmm. to partner with uh Posh productions and have signed on that our senior queen for 2017 will win a scholarship to attend usm wow. and um, that gives me response because the fact that education is one of our pillars of course and the fact that we have young ladies that are equally enthused about in education, um, signing up to, to want to win that for me is like a great achievement. And it so, is, it is not, I mean, as opposed to being something that's material, education is something that goes with you forever. Exactly. Knowledge goes with you, exactly. you know, um, till infinity. Exactly. So for me, it's like, I think people are starting to realize that, that uh, just like what you say many times, it's not only about beauty, it's, it's also about, you know, the, the, the quality, and, and like you said, the caliber of, of, of the person that is going to sign up, what they're going to deliver. Um, I think you set the trend together with your previous um, Miss Mature as well, that, uh, you know, community involvement. Our reigning. Our Miss reigning Miss Mature. Mature. Yes, sir. Miss <coughs> she has, has definitely, job. I have been following her yes. as well, and I think everybody. Exactly. So, um, very hard to miss out. Yes, yeah, very hard to miss <laughs> so, out when yes. she's all over, exactly. which is a good thing because yeah. that reminds you that, hey, this is what queens used to exactly. do. Exactly. And she captures more so the philanthropy aspect of our pillars because our pillars, the three of them, are philanthropy, education, and beauty, both in and out. Marissa captures that. She makes sure that, you know, she's recognized, she's remembered. I mean, she has a phenomenal reign. And, and across the board, huh? because 
uh, our senior queen, Estika Mali. She is really much so involved with the youth as well. And my thing with Estika is she's doing so much, but she's not as public as she should be. Exposing. Same That's... thing for Deandra Malin. She's mm -hmm. doing so much as our team queen, not just by traveling and partaking in, in other pageants. But involvement. Part, but this young lady is reading the news, this young lady is on the debate team, and she has so much going on. Again, she doesn't necessarily expose it. Yeah, yeah. Um, trying to get them to come out more with what they're doing. Of course, because at the end of the day, that also sets the platform mm -hmm. for the following one. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So I'm really excited to see. I know that you have great plans. Yeah. Um, I already see a save the date for one of your events in March, oh, the fundraiser. Yes. I think that is going to be a great one because yeah. it's just different and women love bad. Indeed. But you know, <clears> and, um, finding her, being able to secure sponsorship is very difficult. It's very challenging and I know everyone experiences that and I'm hoping that we will get to a point where it's not that difficult but I've come to the point where let's find ways to raise money let's not ask for money but identify uh, um, something of value that we can turn into a fun event and who and really doesn't do. love bags <laughs> exactly bags shoes and belts are my love I just love that so I said Designer bags is something that I have a lot of, and a lot of ladies love that as well. Let's do a, a bingo and make it fun and interactive and elegant. Yeah. And you can dress up and go with your girl. Well, I'm trying to make the theme more of a maxi dress. Oh, like so, a relaxed yeah, Sunday afternoon exactly. brunch type of thing. A little flute. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Your nice drink and your little cocktail. Yes. Nice, yes. nice. Well, I'm, I'm <laughs> definitely looking forward to it. Um, I think that a lot of uh, women that are following the pageantry movement mm -hmm. um, will be attending the event because they're already hearing it, you know, the buzzing. The buzzing. Awesome. And that's good. The good thing about it is that you have come out with planning. Yes. So when people see that you did show something as early as January for March, it gives them the, the expectation that that is going to be your trend. Exactly. And we know that planning is of essence in any organization, in anything you do, in anything you do your life. I mean, my mom tells me that my life is a schedule. It's true. It true. I do run it like a company. I'm happy that I get response. Because <laughs> you're a busy woman. I'm happy I get response. <laughs> I am busy, but you know what? I, I am busy doing things that I love. Love, yeah. And I think that once you <clears throat> can identify those things in your life, it will not become a burden, it's but it's a pleasure. Because people ask me that, like, where do you get the energy to do all of this? But it, you know, listen, doing what I do and just being involved and, and just bringing you life is something that I just take so much enjoyment. So the energy is there. I get that all the time, but I remember when um, after after Carnival kind of last year, how you just crashed. We were just, we crashed. Tired. Yes. Our body just said, you know what, you don't want to do it, I'm going to do it for you. Shut down. Yes. You didn't have a voice had, for weeks. I had, yes, I didn't have a voice and I had two weeks that I just needed to rest. Yes. I didn't have a voice indeed. It was, it was something just, but you know, yeah. when you look back at the results, it was like, well, it was worth it. You know, we did yes. something that it was yes. memorable. Yes. And this year I'm putting back 150% of that same energy back into this project. So tell me a little bit, what can we expect for the pageant season? We talked already about the, the raising funds. Um, are you going to bring back the, what did we do last year? I can't remember. We, we did it together when I wasn't there, but oh. it was with the Queen's Rich Funds, right? They had like a... Yeah, we had a fundraiser. A fundraiser. We're doing a little bit different. Well, you know, the, 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 the bag um, bingo is more going to take that on. Um, we are going to be launching the girls on February 3rd. Oh. Someone did post it on Facebook asking when, when. Yes, yes, like, yes. So, <laughs> but today I did make a mention February 3rd is when our, our you know, is what we're going to reveal the faces and the name. We're going to do it both in, at a location. So we're inviting persons to come to the location to see the ladies in the flesh. Nice. And then we're also going to launch it out on Facebook. So if you're unable to make it to the event, then at least you'll see the girls there. I would love you to be at the event because, again, it's one of those posh evenings <laughs> of just fun and elegance. Nice. You know, that's how we do it, of course. Um, and then we're going to be having... Um, swimsuit edition that's going to be coming out as well and tell you too much about that don't tell me too much I, I want to be surprised i want to I'm be surprised really excited about that um 
we have received uh, some confirmation from the cabinet of the prime minister because we are hosting a queen's dinner with the prime minister. Awesome. We're taking it to different levels. So we're going to do that etiquette. We're going to apply that etiquette yes. and formality yes. for and that also evening. Also giving the prime minister, um, our minister of education, culture, and youth affairs, as well as our minister of tourism, an opportunity to be able to give the ladies an idea of what they expect from them. We need to mesh this together because we need our Minister of Culture who does, I must say, uh, Minister Jacobs is so cultural. Definitely. She, she is oriented she to the loves for culture. Yes, she does. So I don't have much speaking to do to her. She's already there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we have to identify with our Minister of Tourism because now we need to be able to get our government on board with us to recognize that these ladies who capture these titles are our ambassadors. They are ambassadors of the of island and we need to support them because when we do compete against these other countries, yes, Posh is building them in the whole etiquette and the whole intellectual levels, dealing with the Toastmasters and just prepping them to be ready for that platform. But if we don't have the financial backing, it's it also difficult. shows, it also brings um, delays in being able to be ready, prepped to go. So we need our government as well to get on board with us and other entities um, in, in being able to put that financing out there for us. I, I know that, um, <clears throat> and this is across the board, I don't only think that it's uh, for your industry per, per se, that sponsorship has been um, yeah, a challenge. It's, it's, uh, it's actually decreasing by the year. Mm -hmm. And um, different industries, the, 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 the entertainment, the, you know, whatever whatever industry you can think of, because of the economic situation, of course, you can see a decrease in the cash flow of all of these organizations and, and that used to kind of dish out a lot of funds, you know, before in the carnival. And we know that carnival is expensive. Pageantry is expensive yeah. as well. The different components for you to become for you to showcase everything that you can on that night is expensive and you can't take that away from anyone. Mm -hmm. um, of course, there's always a debate where people say, yeah, but it's your responsibility, you decide to sign up. Yes, it's true, I decide to sign up. But at the end of the day, I am going on that stage to represent part of St. Martin, if not St. Martin on a whole. Yeah. So I'm buying, I am buying to represent you on a whole nother level. So to look at it like I decided to, um, is a bit non-patriotic, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. the correct term yeah. to use. Um, and we need to be able to display more patriotism and love for our country in the sense of remember that pageantry has been around for numbers, of, numbers years. of years. And when you are going to be singling out yourself as a country who doesn't believe in it, when you have Aruba, Curacao, and Willa, all your neighboring countries and fellow men within the, in the Caribbean region that is so passionate about it. It says a lot about you as a country. Of course. Yeah, of course. Um, so we need to be able to recognize that pageantry is a platform that goes beyond our realization. Uh, pageantry is a tool for tourism. Yep. And yep. my quest and, and, and my whole goal is to be able to capture the uh, franchise of Miss World, Miss Universe, and take St. Martin there. We are too much of a gem in the Caribbean not to be represented on those platforms. And I mean, when the world is watching, you want to hear St. Martin. The world you is want watching. them to see that beauty, that intellect, that intelligence, um, and wonder, wow, she's gorgeous. She yes. represents where? St. Martin? Where is St. Martin? 30 seconds for my way. But I want to go. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and it happens of that course. way. So we need to be able to realize the value in pageantry and take it back. I totally agree with you. I mean, um, you have seen the pageants all over because, of course, you've been pageantry indoctrinated mm -hmm. from very young. You, yeah, you know, <laughs> it cannot be the other way. I have been following it for the last, you could say, faithfully five, seven years. But I do see when you, I notice a difference when you go to Curacao, when you go to Aruba, specifically mm -hmm. those um, neighboring islands, former Netherlands and Chile's, it's just very different. It's very different. The support, even the welcoming of those ladies to their island is massive. Okay, the fact whether they make it or not, the mere fact that when those girls are walking on that stage and you see that Curacao flag and you see that Aruba flag, you are not from there. And I'm excited just for the fact that, hey, Curacao is in this world. They are there. That's a little piece of us, you know, because we, 
we will ever forever be connected to this island. There's no other way. We have too many um, bloodlines running through this island for us to be completely connection. disconnected. It's exactly. just never gonna happen. Exactly. So, you know, even when you see it, you're like, gosh, I wish so much. You could, you know, you could have been there as well. Even whether it is the top 40, the top 15, whatever we make it, we make it on that stage. On that stage. You are yeah. Sash as St. Martin. Exactly. So I could imagine that that would be once we get to that point. And I believe, we will. I believe that we're going to get to that point. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. And it's going to be an, yet another accomplishment and another platform for the tourism market exactly. worldwide. Exactly. But we're kicking off our shows on the 24th, which is a Friday, 24th, 25th, and 26th. We're going to be under the tent. Um, the 24th is our interview the day competition. Of course, you know that's the intellectual segment yeah. of, our, of our competition. Um, a lot of people seem to be very enthused with that because it was quite an exciting event last year. It was um, different. Yeah. It was different. It was something that I think people don't, was not expecting. expecting and I think you now because you have set it there, people are now. I'm, I'm assuming that the ones that sign up are going to look to prepare themselves even yeah. much better. Yeah. At the end of the day, when they put you on that stage and you have to debate whatever topic it is it's not easy Indeed. you know Indeed. so because you have to do research Indeed. globally about what's exactly. going on because you, you don't know what's coming to at you well-rounded yes and you have to be able to to know and have an opinion about a specific topic see like last year um, part of the feedback we got is a lot of the, the girls seem to have been chiming off of each other agreeing much with each other so it, it turned in more to like a panel discussion than a debate um, that is something that we've expressed to the Toastmasters leadership and, and, and expressed to them that we would like to see the girls discover themselves a little bit more and how they feel about specific topics. And so they're going to be working with them and getting them ready for that. Um, and then on the 25th, we're going to have our Healthy Body Swimwear and Sports Competition, mm -hmm. which is exciting as well. Um, last year, I must say, I must say this, our, our matures were supposed to, and it's the same thing this year, uh, display themselves in beachwear, mm -hmm. but the confidence level of my ladies was last year roof. was so phenomenal and amazing. They came out in swimwear, and St. Martin wasn't necessarily ready for they it, were not. but like you'll agree, Carousel, Aruba, etc., the ladies there, they're, 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 they're past this, the whole beachwear aspect of it. We try to keep it a little bit more um, on the mature level, yeah. expectation, reserve. Really reserve. Yeah. Um, our seniors are the ones who must display in swimwear, mm -hmm. and our teens and juniors are the ones in swimwear. swimwear. So that's going to be on the 25th, and then on the 26th, we're going to have the Junior Carnival Queen pageant, all three nights under the tent. Uh, April 9th is a Sunday, that's the Junior uh, Parade, mm -hmm. and that is why the Junior Queen pageant was oh, earlier. earlier than yeah. last year. Correct. Right. And earlier. then uh, the 18th and the 19th, we'll be moving into the festival. The teen and senior queen pattern are dual, they come together. And then um, the mature queen patterns are grand finale on the Monday. Okay, yes, yeah, early in the in the schedule as usual. So um ladies, I think it's it's gonna be a phenomenal carnival season. I already seen from the projections and the, the, the announcements that people are gearing up. You know, I have my carnival picture up since January hit because I'm ready for carnival. <laughs> Last year I was a bit passive. I didn't play maths or anything like that, but this year I'm back in full force. Awesome. And plus, I'll be I'll be live with the blog. Nice. I'll be live with the blog. Nice. Um, just trying to cover everything, every aspect of that cultural ambiance yes. that we love so I much. Love that, Kinsey. I, I really, really love that. I'm happy that you are throwing yourself in it with the blog to be able to <laughs> showcase exactly what our culture is about and from a beautiful perspective. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anna, for having me here. And um, I know that this will not be our last conversation. Okay. Definitely not. Okay. As busy as we are, we always make some time for each other. Yes. Thank this you. This was one of those moments, but I definitely want to just like give a little peek of what we could expect. Yeah. I know that um, you're very excited. Your team yeah. is very excited. Yeah. You have a dedicated um, team that works very hard with you mm -hmm. to execute your vision. And you know, you're almost a stalker. Because you know, I could say that because I have seen her in action and she has seen me, so I'm allowed to say that. It's so true. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. But I'm also um, in in tune <clears throat> about the fact that you know we've been to some companies and they've said to us that they don't support carnival, which is fine. We have the posh um, EDU fund, mm -hmm. so education fund, where you can donate to the education of our. Because last year 
um, all right. So it's a Latin Time Share Association. Um, wonderfully, they they donated to the the education um, tuition for our teens that covered their uh, tuition as well as their uniforms. Oh, that's awesome! And so very Jewelers covered the same for our juniors. So with the EDU fund that we're putting the EDU fund we're putting in, in place. Um, we'll be you know, publicizing that pretty soon, the account that you can deposit to. So if you don't want to deposit um, to the carnival aspect of it, you could at least then support the education element. The education element, and that's what Posh is about. We're moving into, uh, not even moving, we're growing into the aspect yeah. of it. Because um, it is the only thing, uh, even as a middle class family, a person, a background, is, is or less fortunate if you want to call it yeah. any aspect of life that you put education into you are going to see the, the fruit of those leaves. exactly so exactly. for me education is always important i nail it in my son's head every yeah. day same and here. you do the same thing with same your children here. um and i think it's something that <clears throat> we as a community have to just embrace even big and a bigger format and understand that the money that we're putting into them today is something it's that going to it's gonna pay off in the long future. run. Absolutely. So um, I'm really when I see programs with the way with empowering and, and, and motivational and inspiration, I am really, really happy to see that there are people out there putting that energy in, in those type of tutoring and programs because exactly. our youth need it. We need it. We need, exactly. it. we need it. When I can whenever I can go to a school and, and be of motivation and speak to the youth and speak to the exam kids. I do it freely, take the time home because at the end of the day, somebody also did it for me. Yes, and I want to take it even a step further and in the sense of um, after school activities, some parents are unable to afford that. Yes. So with us being able to build the EDU fund, um, if it's a case that we covered school fees, etc., but then you have a child that, you know, the parent is working late hours and unable to afford them to, these are things that we You have that additional school. funding to cover that. Now, it's, I think it's, it's, it's phenomenal and I really think I would um, definitely uh, like to just emphasize for the community how important it is on a, on, on a daily basis for you to think about education. Exactly. On a daily basis. Yeah, we do, I, I personally do a lot of research and I know that you do the same thing. Even though education is on my field, but I know what can come out of it. It's very passionate. So I, um, I think that this is the way to go and we have set at least the standard and the norm yeah. where we want to move forward. And 2017 is just another step where we're going to be growing. So I'm really excited to see where Posh is going to lead us and um, the other projects that are going to come. It's going to be 18 in 2019. And I don't know, it's, it's, it's going to grow. Yeah. So yeah, behind the scenes, we talked about a few things, but we'll we, that we will leave that for another time <laughs> where we'll yeah. reveal we are with planning. <laughs> So we will we will reveal that account and we will probably see awesome. some visuals in between. Yes. We'll work, talk about that um, in a later date. But Anna, thank you so much for having us. It so was a pleasure much. as always, and I, I really really think that um, together with Posh, I'm gonna do some exceptional vlogging for the pageantry season and Carnival, of course. So people, come outside. Where are the nights again? So we kick off on the 24th of March at <clears> 24th <throat> of March. 25th, 26th at the um, tent, for the tent for the and then the 18th and the 19th will be in the festival village. Um, but look out, for, <laughs> look out for our official calendar. It's going to be launched on Facebook pretty soon, so you'll be able to follow that. Awesome. So there you have it, Miss Anna, Posh, and Karai Creative Steps. See you guys soon.